But you have a judgment on me. You don't even know me. I have a master. You have. I went to Georgetown. Alright guys, you're looking at the thumbnail, you're looking at the title of the video, you already know what time it is, it is time to get active. Now, this video here today is from YouTube content creator Bradley Martin. He's over a million subscribers, immensely popular YouTuber. He was recently down in Miami filming a vlog and had an interesting conversation with a modern educated lady we're going to talk about some key things within this discussion i think this really points to the pure audacity and gall of some of these modern lady along with what happens if you don't give some of them the attention that they think that they deserve without further ado so let me set the premise for this real quick right now they're in a pizza shop they're standing on line they're about to pay the bill, and then this conversation happens between Bradley Martin, who's on the screen right now, and a neurosurgeon. You'll easily be able to identify the neurosurgeon because he's in his neuro garb, okay? This conversation happens quickly. I'm paying here. You're not paying, are you? Yeah, I will pay. Oh, my phone just died. It's crazy. <laughs> Bradley Martin. Everyone's soft in here. <laughs> I love your videos, man. I love your picture. This is a young doctor. Young brain, brain surgeon. Are you f***ing with me? No. He's a brain surgeon. Hell yeah, bro. That raw gear. Brad, is it okay to eat pizza? Definitely is. Yeah. I'm not eating it, though. You're I'm gonna shred it. When is this going live? Probably tomorrow. No, probably Friday. This is for context. Quick. Yeah. Oh, same, man. Hey, well, welcome to the club. Yeah. No sleep club. I'm a brain surgeon. I'm a fucking video editor. I know, dude. You should step your game up. How many years of schooling does it take to do that? Four years of undergrad, four years of med school, and then minimum seven years of neurosurgery training. That's, That's insane. I dropped, out. I dropped out. I couldn't pay for that shit. You got, you got to love it. Like, it's like a passion thing. I was talking to some patients. Here goes the insurgent. All right. What does it say right here? Lady gets triggered for having a conversation in line. Now, just take in, in stock, just real quick, how respectful that conversation is. It is a YouTube content creator, multimillionaire, having a respectful dialogue with a neurosurgeon. One was a fan and the other one was a fan of brain surgery. So they're having a man-to-man -man respectful dialogue and conversation. Why would you get triggered, young lady? Standing in the line. Shouldn't be bothering you, but we'll find out a little bit more why. Pay attention. You can step your shit up, What? You can cut over brains and fix people's brains. I guarantee you I outwork this guy. No, he's so funny on camera. I love it. If he does, I respect it. He outwork, but like not out talent, you know? I was saying, like, look, what kind of advice do you have for a lot of people out there who work long hours? I get push ups in in between, like, seeing patients or pull ups and just whatever I can do. Look at it. All right, I don't know what you do. You seem pretty miserable, though, so I hope it gets better. He calls it out. What is he bad about? I don't get it. Get a real job, Steiny, you fucking broke pussy. Life's not real. No, not ice job. Stop. What? Edit that out. What? I should get a real <laughs> job, though. I should get enough job. Let's go! I love it. I love it. Get a real job, pussy. Now, that's the definite, real quick before, because the lady's getting ready to come right now and kind of explain herself. You can see her over here kind of bending over in front of the, the table right here. That is the epitome of passive aggressiveness, right? The silly faces, the crossing of the arms. It is extreme passive aggressiveness. The number one and the number two way of dealing with passive aggressive people in no particular order, either ignore it, go about your day, or call it out directly don't try to be passive aggressive back to people because then number one they bring you down to their toxic level and that's where they want you because essentially they feel some type of way they don't feel good about themselves they're not getting their insecurities met they're not getting the attention that they deserve so they try to undercut you in weird disturbing type of way so again either ignore it completely or if it's in your way you call it out directly all right let's keep it going i just filmed youtube videos it was just like an odd interaction between like a little neurosurgeon and like you clearly like listening yeah. so for me i was just like wow. 
why is this even a conversation? I just think it's odd that like someone who literally saved a life. Yeah. Like, I just thought it was an odd conversation. Sure. That like a neurosurgeon is like literally talking about life. What? Bro, it's not even your business. About, man. I just want to say, you know, channel. I'm just doing what I love. Wait, wait, wait. Before he gets into his comment. Okay, so you guys see the confrontation. So the young heathen came over to the table to publicly display why it is that she was being gross and passive aggressive. And her response to it all was that I thought it was an odd conversation for a YouTuber to be having with a neurosurgeon because the neurosurgeon saves lives. So you as a YouTuber, you have no value in this world. Meanwhile, he's a multimillionaire. Just looking at his page alone, this guy is a multimillionaire. And listen, at the end of the day, whether or not he's a YouTuber or let's say he's a basketball player, right? The basketball players are not saving lives, but they get paid way more. But see, that's not really what this conversation is about. What I think that this conversation is about is pay attention to me, says the modern lady. She wants the neurosurgeon or the big dude who looks like, as she says, that works out, who's a YouTuber, to stop paying a respectful attention to each other and me, 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 me. I, 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 I. It's the modern lady for you. Let's get into the neurosurgeon's quick response. Love, but one thing's not more important than another society. We need Go everyone ahead. to right, respect play their role. <laughs> she got mad. I've actually been watching his videos on and off for like. How do you not care enough and you're over here having a conversation? Where's she at? Let me bring her over here. You, you, you don't care, modern lady, but you're over there having a conversation about what you do like and what you don't like? That doesn't even make sense. You, 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 you don't care, but you're making, you're grimacing at the two young men having a respectful conversation. Get your insurgency in order. It's gross. It's unbecoming. Okay? Let's keep going. Like many years seeing you like start up the zoo culture okay. thing and everything. Whatever, dude. I don't know who you are. I basically said I ain't shit compared to this guy because I film videos on the internet. But you have a judgment on me. You don't even know me. I have a master. What the fuck do you have? I went to Georgetown. I dropped out. I just thought it was an interesting conversation. No, it was no. an interesting conversation. I have no judgment. I was like, oh, this is an interesting. Shut up, bitch. I can't even. <laughs> this shit. I didn't put that in. I'm going to go fuck myself. All right. That's the, actually the end of the clip right there. So let me pause it right there. All right. I have a master's. I went to Georgetown. Gross. Listen, people who throw around their titles, the things that they've achieved, it's so ridiculous because just a YouTuber alone can <laughs> utterly destroy that Karen easily based off of the numbers that he puts up on his channel because irrespective of your degrees and whatever you think that <laughs> your degrees make you amount to it doesn't make you amount to a likable person it doesn't even make you amount to making more money than him it doesn't make you amount to getting that infamous carrot across your finger it doesn't help with any of that stuff just imagine real quick if that was a dude doing that and we talk about it all the time that one of the privileges of women in society is that they can mouth off without the imminent danger of physical force and violence just for the sake of being a young lady, okay? But if a guy was in that line, being as disrespectful in that situation, getting touched is not outside the realm of possibility, which is why more often than not, you don't see these gross situations happening between men. At the end of the day, what I see from her personality, I see from modern women today to a degree that's abhorrent within society. Understand me, leading with your education won't affect the happiness within your life. Being passive aggressive with people and trying to shame and insult them based off of their accomplishments in life shows is projecting the hate that you have on yourself. The behavior that's demonstrated right here shows someone that is way past due on therapy and way past due on being checked on bad behavior. I suggest if you know a person in your life that acts this way, show them this video so that they can see the reflection of themselves in the mirror.
Guys, that's why I got to leave this video here today. I got to do a little bit of tough love from time to time when I see behaviors and attitudes like this. But I think it's appropriate to do. I think that it's appropriate to call these things out because just like you have drug addicts walking around that don't understand how bad that the situation is until loved ones can sit them down and give them an intervention. Because if they don't give that intervention, their life will continue to be low level and they will not achieve the degree of happiness until they get the help that they deserve. There's a lot of young ladies today that walk around with the proverbial chip on their shoulders and don't realize how their behavior is going to leave them alone for years and years to come. Questions, comments, concerns? God, I already know what to do. Media tutorials and reviews at gmail.com. Guys, feel free to hit me up. Uh, I got a Patreon as well. Guys, if you are interested on in getting into my inner circle, closer to me, we do almost damn near daily discussions between myself and those within the inner Discord community focused on increasing your value, leveling up, your financial due diligence and acumen, your purpose, and much, much more. If you're interested, link to it down in the description box down below. All right. Until next time, YouTube. Peace. Hood booga, hood booga, hood booga. Goodbye. Hood booga, hood booga.